Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Ordnance Lab and another fiery Friday. This is gonna be a follow-up to our previous one where we used one of the ALS thermite grenades on a filing cabinet under the premises that hey, if you're in like an embassy or whatever, you're getting ready to get overrun, you have to destroy sensitive files, things like that. And we saw that with the ALS one, it only burned through the first part. So what Jake did is we went ahead and got more power, ha ha ha, the Tim Allen thing, but more thermite. So what we have right here is three and a half pounds of thermite in this container right here. And what's gonna happen is this right here will hopefully ignite and we'll see if it burns through. We've got paper up here, a full mount in this one also. And down here, we didn't put it in the bottom and hopefully it'll go through and destroy all of the paperwork that we have in there. Again, to simulate like what would happen because apparently some of the folks were in the comment section were saying that in the actual embassy, they use a paint can, a paint can sized thermite grenade to destroy stuff. So we'll put that to the test. And before we get started with that, we wanna make sure we thank our sponsor as always with Big Daddy Unlimited. Make sure to follow the link down there in the comment section. You'll be able to get all kinds of stuff by joining up with them and getting better prices and we can get as an FFL sometimes. But let's get this thing started. In our first thermite versus cabinet video, we used an ALS brand thermite grenade to see if it would punch through a filing cabinet and destroy all the files inside. The grenade punched through the top no problem, but didn't make it past the first row of files. A real major letdown as we expected a way better performance. So this time we upgraded and made a huge thermite bomb with a whopping 1.5 kilos or 3.5 pounds of thermite and a pyrotechnic fuse igniter. Hopefully this one does a whole lot better than the ALS grenade. The cabinet was definitely blistering hot as the plastic molding started to melt all around the filing cabinet. The giant thermite charge left a huge chunk of slag, indicative of a solid reaction. And sure, the reaction was impressive, but let's see if the thermite made it all the way down to the bottom files. <laughs> that worked even better than expected. That was freaking awesome. Jake did a great job getting this thing ready to go. We had a long fuse on it because, well, uh, when you're dealing with things like this, a longer fuse is usually a better fuse. We got the Mark I stick here. Let's see what we got. We got a whole lot of sludge here, or slag, I'm sorry. Remember, history major, not a technical person, but it's still burning hot and you can still see the fire burning. If you look in here, like this stuff right here just totally melted down. It just all went in there. And let's see, can I? Oh, here we are. I feel like Geraldo Rivera opening the safe of Al Capone. Well, we got some, when it was burning, you could see that there was fire coming down in here, but it looks like that the uh, the documents in here were not destroyed. So we're gonna have to do a, another round of this using another source, which would be another cool video. Um, now the top one, let's see if we could open that somehow. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. A little too hot even to touch through my gloves. Um, so, well, what we'll do is we're gonna have to let this thing cool down for a while and um, then we'll be able to crack it open and see what happens and see if we can burn the other stuff in there. All right, so this right here, our business partner, Alex, who um, had to go off and have kids so he doesn't get to come have fun with us. He has to go change diapers and other stuff that I don't even wanna know about. We have to destroy these documents. We promised we'd do it for them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, soak this right here in an accelerant and also um, soak the bottom one in that. We're gonna step way back and we're gonna light it on fire. Don't do this at home. We're wearing all kinds of FR gear, got a fire extinguisher. Whenever we do this, there'll be literally a fire extinguisher pointed at me. Um, but like I said, don't do this at home unless you want that Richard Pryor effect. Like, what was that joke about? What's this? Uh, Richard Pryor running down the street, remember? Uh, hopefully y'all saw that. Anyways, let's get back to uh, lighting this thing on fire. All right, we're gonna light this with the Ordnance Lab Mark II stick. All right. Thank you. 
Stay there. <laughs> I try to get my dog to leave me alone. Go ahead and close this and let it cook. And that right there is exactly why you wear FR stuff. That got my attention. Well, mission accomplished on that. We've destroyed all of the files in here in a hopefully amusing way. We saw, of course, with the gasoline that you gotta watch out for the vapors. Again, don't mess with gasoline and doing stuff. If you're gonna be dumb enough to do it like we are, make sure you wear proper PPE. Um, and all that good stuff so that you don't get to get a nice tour of the uh, the burn unit or the burn ward. And so we saw here again with the thermite that it was, even though Jake put three and a half pounds of thermite on there, it wasn't able to burn through the first layer of papers. The only thing it was singed down here a little bit and some of it also came down to the bottom one, but that's it. So it was not able to catastrophically destroy it, burn down to China and all those kind of things. So again, we're showing the actual practical limitations of using thermite grenades. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to remember our sponsor, Big Daddy Unlimited. If you join them, you'll be able to help us out by doing that and you'll be able to get stuff often at a lower price than um, what FFLs and whatnot can get that. So thanks again. Please make sure to like and subscribe this right here and I'm gonna take all this crap off and go to Whataburger. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.